All right, so we made it to the uh, central station here to get our train from Tbilisi to Baku. And what's really helpful is this train sign behind me. It's written both in uh, uh, Georgian and in English and maybe other languages as well, but English is what we need. Uh, so deciphering the ticket code here, uh, it looks like this is actually second class and train 37 leaves at 835. The three, I believe, is our carriage and then we're in seats 17. So we'll see if my guess is correct as we head towards platform one to catch our train to Baku. All right, so made it to uh, platform one. Uh, all the train carriages are numbered. So we are second class uh, versus first class because we wanted uh, obviously four beds, four berths. So first class is two berths, second class is four berths. So here we are. We are gonna go check out our room uh, here on carriage number three. So in we go. Okay, so got the memory foam pillow in the pillowcase. Ta-da, very nice, comfy. Now this is the question, does the sheet go down on top of the pad or does the blanket, like the comforter, go down? I'm gonna guess it's the comforter. So give that a try. Ooh, train's moving. Okay, I think that looks good. And then we got this is, uh, I'm gonna guess the sheet, the sheet that I think you might lay on. And I think that is a made bed. Not sure what the towel's for, but ultimately, uh, you know, we'll find out, I suppose. Okay, so now it's time to give you a tour that the room is all set up. So we're gonna walk in and uh, kind of see how we have it set up in second class on this uh, sleeper train from Tbilisi to Baku. All right, so we're in our sleeper car and you have my bed, Forrest's bed, Jonathan's bed, granite and cedar up on top. And we're starting to get settled. What? The kids have played a great game of Ice Fly already. Horace has explored the entire car from front to back twice. And we have we pre-bought snacks and water. Because if you buy them on the train, they're a lot more expensive. So we just hit one of the grocery stores before we got on the train. Uh, filled up with food till we get to Baku. And I think we're ready ready for this ride okay so the only thing I want to add about the the room is the power there is one plug-in for all four beds uh, and we picked up this just little uh, adapter so we you know that runs to this box we have six USB plugs that's phones watches the battery uh, for the camera recharger so uh, thank goodness we had the converter or we'd be kind of out of luck. So it's definitely worth picking up one of those um, on your way to Baku. All right, and then over here we have a variety of switches. Um, you know, this says like music, but you know, I, I, it doesn't seem to do anything, but maybe there's some gonna be some music later, who's to say? Uh, lights, <laughs> they work. And uh, I am assuming that's a call button. So up top, let's go. All right, so upstairs we've got, uh, I guess this is air conditioning. It's not on now, uh, it is December, but it does feel a little warm in here. Uh, I think when the train's going though with the windows in the hallway open, it's not too bad. We've got storage, bigger storage, same for over here, storage and a little bed for stuffed animals. And uh, that's pretty much it in the room. 
Okay, so I'm gonna take a minute to talk about the price of this uh, train ride. So the tickets for me and Kelly were 56 lari. Kids tickets were half price, so those are about 28, and forest rides for free, as he's sharing one of the beds. We bought our tickets in advance through a third-party website called GeoTrend, and I'll link to that down below. And we didn't want to risk them selling out. Uh, it is almost the holidays, so again, using GeoTrend to get our tickets for us uh, was totally worth it. And again, peace of mind goes a long way uh, when you're talking about a small markup, the face value of the tickets. All right, so it is 9.33, and we are at the uh, Georgia border, and we're gonna see how it goes. They just came around knocking to see if um, we could get our passports and everything ready. So now it's time for the bathroom tour on this uh, on this sleeper train here. Uh, it's actually with this window open, it's in terms of temperature, the coolest part of the train. Uh, too bad it kind of smells, I don't want to stay here too long. But in terms of bathroom for a sleeper train, it's not bad. Uh, sink, running water, uh, plug in case you want to, in case you want to shave. Window, toilet paper, but it's empty. Definitely bring your own toilet paper on these trains. Toilet, it's okay. And a broom. And the flusher. So for a bathroom on a super train, not bad. Okay, so it is now 1054 and we are at the second border crossing. This is um, getting into Azerbaijan. And we have ordered our visas ahead of time, a few days ahead of time, and we got them from evisa.gov.az um, to make sure that we had everything in order before we got onto the train. So we should be good to go, and hopefully we won't be at this border crossing too long. I have my helper now. <laughs> So we made it through the border crossing at Azerbaijan and we were out of the train station by about midnight. The kids are finally settled and asleep, which is awesome. Um, we did have to leave our cart and go to another car and talk to the border patrol. They pulled everybody on the in the train and then just asked them order, normal border control um, questions. But um, one guard did come to our room and ask us if we had been to Republic of Armenia, which we haven't yet, so um, we were in the clear for that. But had we gone to Armenia with the conflict between the two countries, um, it might have been a different um, and longer process. And now we are ready to sleep for the next eight hours, and then we should be in Azerbaijan, so, or Baku in the morning. <music> So it is just past eight o'clock, and ultimately it was a pretty like a uh, pretty decent train ride. It was comfortable, although our room was really really hot. There's no air conditioning it's because it's winter, so there's no airflow the minute you shut your door. Yeah. So that is probably not a big deal unless you have a baby who doesn't like to be hot. Yeah, Forrest had a little trouble with the uh, heat. Uh, oh, about every 45 minutes he was up crying at least. Uh, I don't know, between like midnight and 4 a.m. So, you know, no one said particularly great, but the, that's not the train's fault. Ultimately, pretty good. And I guess there it goes back to uh, Tbilisi. Okay, so once you walk down the train platform, it dumps you off into this kind of courtyard area here, and we're thinking this is more of the central station hub. So we're gonna head in there and look for SIM cards, and eventually work our way to our Airbnb here in Baku.